This video will cover the topic, Introduction to Solving a Radical Equation. For this video, we will learn how to solve a problem such as square root of y equals 3. So, just to make sure, a radical is a square root, right? Correct, and to solve this problem, we'll be taking steps to cancel out the square root. What would we do in order to cancel out the square root and make y alone on the left side? Do we divide each side by the square root of y? Good try, but unfortunately, no. If we divide each side by the square root of y, then we would cancel out the left side completely, leaving us with 1, and then we would have y on the right. So what we want to do is square both sides, because squaring something is the opposite of a square root. So let's square each side and see what we get. The square of a square root leaves us with what is inside, which is y in this case, and 3 squared is 9, so our final answer is y equals 9. Before we get too excited about this answer though, we do have to check to make sure that it makes the equation true. So let's plug in 9 into our original equation. We get square root of 9 equals 3. Is that true? Well, yeah, because the square root of 9 is 3. Then y equals 9 is our answer. There can be other cases where there is no solution, which happens if you get a negative answer. When you plug the negative answer back into the radical, you see that the solution would have to be imaginary. You know, I think I get how to solve a radical equation now.